4th of September, 2023. A warm evening here in the administrative capital of Somalia, Mogadishu. Welcome to Somalia's premier number one station for news and updates. I'm your presenter, Abrahman Yusuf. Tonight, we have a lot in store for you, but first, let's take a look at the stories that are making our headlines. Mogadishu residents rally in massive demonstration, pledging for support in the battle against Al-Shabaab. Somali government deploys 1,500 fresh troops to Gelgedod region. KS Relief signs $5 million agreement to provide clean drinking water to drought-affected communities in Somalia. Bomb attack in Mandera County claims the lives of two police officers. Glad to have you back now. Let's delve into a full bulletin. The Somali government has dispatched a contingent of 1,500 fresh troops to the front line, specifically targeting the eastern Gelgedud region. This deployment comes in response to a recent withdrawal of the, some troops and concerted effort to encourage the army to return to their stations and continue the crucial battle against Al-Shabaab militants. The Somali government has dispatched a contingent of 1,500 fresh troops to the front lines, especially targeting the eastern Gal Gadud region. This deployment comes in response to a recent withdrawal of some troops and a concerted effort to encourage the army to return to their stations and continue a crucial battle against the Al-Shabaab militants. The official send-off ceremony held in the coastal town of Adale in the middle Shabele region witnessed federal members of parliament MPs extending their support and best wishes to the brave soldiers who are now ready to confront Al-Shabaab head-on. The deployment of the 1,500 troops aims to bolster the existing forces on the front lines and enhance the government's capacity to combat the Al-Shabaab group effectively. These fresh troops are equipped and prepared to confront the Al-Shabaab militants with determination and resilience. The farewell ceremony held in Adale, a coastal town in Middle Shabele region, was a solemn occasion where federal MPs bid farewell to the newly deployed troops. Yasin Farey, a member of the Somali House of the People, addressed the gathering, expressing support for the, from the government and ensuring the soldiers of its commitment to, to their cause. MP Farey's words of encouragement and solidarity resonated with, through, with the troops instilling in them a sense of purpose and determination as they prepare to face the challenges on the battlefield. The withdrawal of some troops from the front line necessitated an urgent response to fill the gaps and continue the fight against the notorious militant group. Al-Shabaab, a militant group affiliated with Al-Qaeda, has been a persistent threat to Somalia's security for years. The group has carried out numerous attacks targeting civilians, government institutions and African Union peacekeeping forces. Despite ongoing efforts by the Somali government and international partners to weaken and eliminate the group, Al-Shabaab continues to pose a significant challenge to stability in the region. The deployment of fresh troops to the Gal Gadud region is a strategic move to counter the militants' activities and reclaim control of the territory they currently hold. King Salman, humanitarian aid, and Relief Center KS Relief has made a commitment to addressing the water crisis in Somalia by signing a $5 million agreement with the Somali Civil Society Organization. The agreement aimed at providing clean drinking water to drought-affected communities was reported by the Saudi press agency. The King Salman Humanitarian Aid and Relief Center, or KS Relief, has made a commitment to addressing the water crisis in Somalia by signing a $5 million agreement with the Somali Civil Society Organization. The agreement, aimed at providing clean drinking water to drought-affected communities, was reported by the Saudi press agency. Under the agreement, 24 solar-powered artesian wells will be drilled, and an additional 20 wells will be restored. Dr. Abdullah Saleh Al-Mu'allim, the director of KS Relief's Health and Environmental Aid Department, highlighted that the initiative goes beyond just providing water. It includes an educational program on sanitation and hygiene, as well as training for water resource management committees on well operation and maintenance. The impact of this initiative will be significant, with over 1 million Somalis expected to benefit from the installation and restoration of these wells. The project will establish a sustainable and renewable source of clean drinking water for the affected communities, addressing a critical need in the region. According to the Saudi aid platform, the kingdom has invested over $400 million in various humanitarian initiatives across Somalia. This latest agreement further strengthens the ongoing support provided by KS Relief. 
Dr. Ma'allim emphasized that KS Relief has recently launched projects worth $190 million in diverse fields, including community support, health, water, emergency relief, food provision, malnutrition prevention, and empowerment. The $5 million water initiative adds to the comprehensive approach taken by KS Relief to address the urgent needs of those in vulnerable situations. The King Salman Humanitarian Aid and Relief Center's commitment to providing clean drinking water in Somalia reflects the Kingdom's dedication to helping those in need. Through KS Relief, the Kingdom continues to implement impactful projects that improve the lives of individuals and communities facing challenging circumstances. At least two police officers were killed and six others sustained injuries when their vehicle was struck by a bomb in the Arabia district of Mandera County. The officers belonging to the Kenya Quick Response Unit were on a mounted patrol from Arabia to Mandera when the improvised explosive device, the IED, detonated, causing devastating outcome. At least two police officers were killed and six others sustained injuries when their vehicle was struck by a bomb in the Arabia district of Mandera County. The officers belonged to the Kenyan Quick Response Unit were on a mounted patrol from Arabia to Mandera when the improvised explosive device donated, causing the devastating outcome. Upon receiving the call, a reinforcement patrol comprising personnel from Omar Jilo military camp and Arabia Police Quick Response Unit was immediately dispatched to the scene. They evacuated the injured individuals, ensuring their prompt medical attention. The authorities are actively investigating the incident to determine the perpetrators behind the heinous act. Security measures have been escalated in the area to prevent any further attacks and bring those responsible to justice. The hand-rendering story from Mandaria brings us to the end of our bulletin. Lovely viewer, wherever you're tuning in from, I'm your presenter, Abrahman Yusuf, telling you have yourselves a lovely night. Be blessed and stay put for more stories in our subsequent bulletins.